Hey guys, so <laughs> too funny. Hey guys, uh, I thought I'd do a quick channel update as to what's going on, uh, why you haven't seen any videos in a while, and uh, just what's going on here at Raspberry Rock. Um, <laughs> I've got the. I'm laughing about something else. Just my stupid video editing skills. Anyway, um, I'm focused out here on the on the scenery, and the lighting's probably really bad in here, but. Don't look at me because I'm ugly. Look at the, the scenery because it's beautiful. This is what I typically do when I'm shooting my videos. I'm often not in focus. The scenery is. But anyway, so here's here's my uh, my channel update. Um, I've been living here at the cabin pretty much full time since May, since we got back from our vacation. And my wife has been coming up on weekends, which has been just wonderful. But I don't have high speed internet here. I've been using uh, my, my data plan on my cell phone, tethering through my cell phone to access the internet. Um, and my plan is three dollars a megabit. Or sorry, megabyte. Yes, ugh. My plan is three dollars per five hundred megabytes, and my videos are very typically in the five gigabyte range. So I, I just can't do that, right? And I get cut off at a certain point. So it, I, while I've been taking video, I haven't been able to upload it, except for episode four point five. I had that finished. I had it all edit, um, edited up and ready to go. And then when I got high speed here, I thought. Well, do I do I upload it? Because it, it's back from April, April 26th, in fact. And I thought, well, well, you know, it's already done. I might as well do it. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, from then on, knowing that I didn't have internet here and that this is where I'm going to be staying, I didn't do a lot of videoing. Uh, just uh, snippets here and there. I think one day I tried to do a full episode uh, from morning to night. Uh, but it doesn't work so well in, at this time of year uh, when I'm when I'm actually doing things. In the winter time, it was fine because I wasn't doing anything anyway, so I could film all day long. But now that I'm doing things, it's it's not very convenient. And my meals, you know, my my breakfast, lunch, and dinner are often you know bachelor style. They're nothing fancy, just because I'm tired and I want to get it out of the way, and I got to take a shower because I'm hot and sweaty and stuff. Um, and I don't know, even if I had episodes lined up from April, I probably still wouldn't post them because they're so old. You know, I'd have such a huge video backlog now that there's no way I'd ever get through it. Typically, those episodes that I do from morning to night, I would spend, you know, a day of filming and then two days of editing to put that together. And it's just not, it's just not practical to do that now. So while I have taken video over that time, I think what I'll probably do is just put together a couple of videos of random clips so that you can see kind of some of the stuff that I've been doing around here. Um, for example, I've got my my washing machine. I did a video on that, and I've done some video on my water filtering system. You know, things like that that I'll probably upload. Um, I, but I'm not sure yet because I got to go through the video that I've taken and see what's actually there because I have a poor memory for stuff like that. I, I don't remember what I've actually done. And going forward, I'll probably not do the episodic format. I'll probably just film, you know, various things that I'm working on and stuff like that. In terms of the cabin here, you know, there's not, if you just looked at it the way it is, there's not a lot different from where I left off in April. I've been doing things like firewood, very important, and I got to get that done. If I expect to spend any time at all here next winter, I've got to have dry firewood ready to go and to have dry firewood, you've got to, it's, it's going to be sitting covered for a long period of time. In fact, they say you should be working two years ahead on your firewood, you know, and I haven't, I haven't been. So anyway, firewood is so important. I've been working on the electrical system. Um, as I said, these other odd things that I really need in place, clean water I got to have, I got to be able to wash my clothes, you know, things like this, just to live here. Um, so, you know, some, some domestic stuff that I got to take care of. Um, anyway, so that's it, and that's where I am. Right now it's July 18th, I think, or so. So, and I don't think that, you know, going back to April and posting videos from that time is, not only is it not practical, but do you really want to see videos from back then before all this growth? I mean, right now the foliage is so green everywhere. It's just blooming and it's everything. And um, the blueberries are almost in full Full, I want to say full bloom, but that's not the right word. Uh, the, you know, they're turning blue, and I got to harvest them shortly. Anyway, um, so that's it. I guess um, that's all I can think of to say. I'm having a rum and coke right now, because <laughs> why not? And uh, yeah, I'm up here. Oh, okay. So uh, poor Willow. Poor Willow was not fixed when we got her, 
and uh, her previous owner uh, had intentions of breeding her and then she, not Will, the owner, she ha had some back problems and um, decided that she could no longer look after her German Shepherds. I think she had four of them, so she was giving them all away uh, for adoption. And so we got Willow, um, what do they call it? Um, intact. And when she went into heat, shortly after we got her, she made a big mess. They bleed all over the place. It's, uh, it's crazy. And I guess it's, uh, you know, it would draw every coyote in the county kind of thing if, if she did go into heat here. Anyway, so we had to get her fixed, and that happened on Monday, which was yesterday. And it's going to take 7 to 14 days for her to um, to heal up her stitches, uh, heal up her, not her stitches, but her, you know, her cut. And in that time, she's not supposed to run, jump, get excited, play, or any of that stuff. So what we decided was I would come back here into the cabin with Junebug. Because uh, Junebug, uh, you know, gets, you know, she wants to play. She wants to get all, she gets Will all riled up. So we thought... I'll bring June back, Junebug back here. My wife will look after Willow uh, back at the back in the city until she's better. And then, not this weekend coming. It's Tuesday right now. Not this weekend coming, but the next weekend, my wife will bring Willow back. So right now, Junebug's a little lost. Even on, on the on the way in, she you know <laughs> she she didn't know what to do. But I think she'll get used to it pretty quick. And then when we see Willow again in a week and a few days, I'm sure they'll be really happy. Anyway, that's it. So after this video goes up, I'm going to go back and look at the other videos I've got or other recordings that I have and see what I can piece together. As I said, maybe do some random clips episodes, not episodes, but random clip videos for you. I'm not sure if there's anything particularly you want to see. Oh, one of the things I want to do is another walkthrough tour. Even though not much has changed visually here, I think, uh, you know, I did the walkthrough tour in the winter time. And, it, you know, I look at that video and I think, it's really ugly around there. So I'm going to pick one of these nice days, like today, gorgeous day, and go around and do it all again. And just because the, the scenery is so beautiful here. And I think uh, I think that'll be really nice. So anyway, that's it for now, guys. Um, <clears throat> thank you for sticking with me in this, uh, in this time that I've been absent. Um, I've still been here. I still really wanted to upload videos. I just couldn't. And uh, But anyway, now I can. So I'm pretty happy. Um, my internet is uh, right there. Um, you can probably see on the pine trees over there, there's a board screwed into the pine trees, and then there's a little antenna that's an LT. It's connecting to an LTE tower that's exactly, almost exactly four kilometers to the northwest of me. I get uh, now 10 megabit download, one megabit upload. I get 200 gigabytes a month of data. Um, which is pretty good and should be more than I need. It's a far cry from my, you know, 30 and 5 at at home, 30 and 5 and unlimited at, at, at the uh, our place in the city, but um, it's still really good. And even though, you know, it takes five times as long to upload a video, I mean, it took like 13, 14 hours to like, <laughs> upload episode 4.5 in the weekend, it's still far better than what I had, which is almost nothing. So now I can upload videos. Now I have internet access, which is great because I was missing my YouTube videos on how to do things. Um, I mean, I built this cabin based on YouTube videos. So there you go. But I'm pretty happy about that. It's been a really stable thing. Thank you, ExplorerNet. I heard bad things about ExplorerNet. Well, let's say mixed reviews about ExplorerNet, but this has been solid as a rock, and I love it. Uh, in the wintertime, hopefully it won't change much. Because it's pointing pretty much at those pine trees across the way here and you know when snow gets on the branches what's going to happen I don't know but we'll see hopefully we're hoping for the best anyway so guys as I said thanks for sticking with me and um, a new video is coming soon um, what can I say welcome back to raspberry rock I love you all take care